voice and the math classroom. Um, I have, between my two algebra two classes, I have 55 students, so I, I found and created 55 different review problems, one for each student. I put it into one document um, with no lines, just 55 continuous problems. I linked to that on the Google slide. I then typed up the directions um, with one problem per student and handed out 55 pieces of paper. So they only had their problem on there. Um, I created the master Google, well, I didn't create the master, next year I will create a master Google slide with one problem per page that looked like this. So I did go in, I put the title, I put the problem, um, and then later the student added their name and their link. I created a table of contents that links to each problem on the page. Again, this one took quite a while. Um, there were two pages of the table of contents. So creating links to slides is super easy. You just highlight it and just click to the link to the slide that you want it to be. Um, then I gave the students their paper. They had it handed in, so you have to plan ahead of time, hand it in. I corrected it, provided feedback, gave it back to them, and then they were ready to go ahead and use Adobe Spark. If you haven't used Adobe Spark, um, it's a free, super easy to figure out program, and it's just their voice talking about how they did the math. So you can see how they get to use vocabulary, um, and they, they just sounded so professional. You could use YouTube and other things like that, uh, but I asked them to explain how they did their problem. Um, so this is a problem, given the zeros, right, right polynomial in standard form, and I'm hoping you will be able to hear Nate speak about this. We'll try this one instead. you get the idea. Um, again, it's super easy. You can take a picture of your math work step-by-step uh, step and put it in. You can just write it in. Um, it only allows you to voice over for 20 seconds at a time, so if you mix up, then you just have to correct that one, so there's not really a lot of editing involved. Um, I did reach out, I think Wendy Menard maybe reached out to me on Twitter one way or the other and shared this idea with her and she did it in her class. She allowed her class to use YouTube videos as well. She suggested to the kids they could put memes on their slides, kind of like, like a commercial come and do my problem. So when I did it again for the final exam, I, I encouraged the kids to do that. And then of course now they have 55 problems and 55 videos that they can go and look at. So it was a lot of fun. Thank you.